Alright, so this is probably like my seventh time recording this, and I thought this was going to be like the most simple tutorial of all time, but the first couple of times, um, I genuinely just wasn't happy with how I explained it, and then, like, after that, I just, like, wasn't happy with the way the effects looked, so I ended up just doing it over and over again. And I think I finally have uh, what I believe to be the best ultimate effects. And I believe that this is what Duque used. So we want to right click on this. Well, first, make sure if you haven't already, the playlist will be in the description to watch my effects tutorial and my cutout tutorial. If you already know how to do your own effects and you already know how to make cutouts, you don't have to watch those. But if you do not know how to do either of those, I recommend you go into the playlist and watch episodes one and two. Even if you know how to make cutouts, I recommend you watch that because sometimes people have low quality cutouts because they use just remove background. So, yeah, make sure to watch those two if you do not already know how to make effects uh, or cutouts. So... First, what you want to do is you want to right click on the Carmelo Anthony uh, layer, click duplicate layer, or control plus C to go back. Of course, you can hold control plus J to duplicate the layer. It does the same thing, but for simplified purposes, I'm going to right click on this and press dupl duplicate layer. Uh, so, yeah, you should have two of the same layer right now. You want to go to filter with the second layer of selected of course filter filter gallery poster edges and it should already be set to what it is here um, so you just wanna after you click on poster edges you just wanna click OK Um, if this will, all right, and then what you want to do with your uh, layer that you just did poster edges on selected, you want to right click on it, press duplicate layer again, or do the control plus J shortcut. Then what you want to do is go up to this magnifying glass up here, the find, it's basically just a search for effects and stuff, and you want to type in color half tone and you don't have to type in the whole thing it should pop up for you but with your top layer selected that you had just duplicated you want to type in color half tone uh, and then press the color we'll click the color half tone uh, make sure to wait if it like lags for you I'm on a Chromebook like most of you guys Oh, wait, 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 don't do that, don't do that. Click X, click X. I had forgotten already what I was supposed to do, so. You want to, sorry, so you want to click X if you are already in the color halftone thing. With your top layer selected, you want to change its blend mode to hard light, and you want to change its opacity to 25%. Now what you want to do is look up color halftone. So color, I'm just going to redo this just to not confuse you guys. Uh, with the top layer selected, of course, you just change this blend mode to hard light and had it as, had its opacity to 25%. And we wait for this. And it should look almost what it is going to in the, um, what's it called? In the final product, all you want to do is set the radius to what looks good for me. My numbers were 13. I recommend you slide the number up. Uh, if you have a moderately high pixel image like I do, 
um, because having a higher radius means that the circles are bigger, so, and that's what you want out of these ultimate effects. Uh, and I wasn't doing that because um, I didn't know how big the circles were on the 2K19 ultimate effects, but they were pretty big, so I made sure to adjust my radius accordingly, and now it looks more accurate. Ac bro, okay, I keep on messing up that word. Accurate. Uh, this is my, like, seventh time recording this tutorial, so you gotta bear with me, guys. Um, and I just woke up, so that's great. You want to click OK after you set the radius to what you like. I recommend 13 pixels. If it does not look good for you, then just adjust the slider to where it looks a, a little bit like how mine does. And then you want to click OK. Now, what you want to do is you want to select the bottom layer. Press backspace. That will delete that layer uh, for, what's it called, size purposes. Well, not size. Uh, storage purposes. Size storage purposes. Uh, you don't want the image uh, file size to be too big because then it might not be able to fit into the 2K DB generator. It might not be able to fit into Discord. You just don't know. So now you should have this as your bottom layer, the poster edges layer. The first one that you did post edges on anyway. You want to click EFF, click stroke, and then um, shout out to Will for helping me with this. Um, he said in the comments, uh, you can, well first set this, set your stroke color by clicking on this, set it to black. Uh, you can just click on this or type in a bunch of zeros or just slide this all the way down. Uh, so you just want to make the color black, basically. And then, um, shout out to Will for this. Well, first, actually, no matter how. I'm going to do this first because I'm jumping the gun. Uh, make sure that your position is on outside, blend mode is on normal, and your fill type is on color. Uh, it should already be there, and opacity 100%. Uh, and then you want to slide this accordingly to where it looks about what my Carmelo will look like. Do not make it look like how it is now. Wait until uh, I say like it's about that you should it should look about like what this does. Uh, I already have my numbers. So 11 was my pixel number. It should look about, about like how this does. Um. This should be like your black outline. This is what it should look like, similar to this anyways. Um, and then you want to, shout out to Will for this. I didn't know this. Um, I'm going to be honest. You need, uh, you don't have to have two different layers for a stroke. Uh, Will from 2KMTC, Will I am. And he commented on my YouTube video. He was like, you don't have to have two layers to make two strokes. You can just click the plus button. So that was very helpful. Thank you, Will. So you just click the plus button next to where it says stroke. Uh, and then you should have two strokes. Select the bottom stroke. And then select the color thing. The color box. And then make the color white. Uh, I already have a sample color here. Most of you should if you're on Photo P. Uh, make sure you're on Photo P, Photoshop, or GIMP, by the way. Uh, you cannot do this on Pixlr. Um, so then you want to adjust this accordingly to what mine will look like. Um, I already have my numbers once again. That is not what it should look like. Um. Yeah, it should look around like what this does. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, but it should have like somewhat of like the same size in axis. Make sure this is the bottom stroke that you have selected and make sure the color is white. Uh, and then adjust the size to make it bigger. 
down the top stroke, which is the black stroke. Um, and then what you want to do is just press OK up here. And then you're done. So I would have told you in the initial tutorial to duplicate this and put color over and make its blend mode color but don't do that because it's actually better for you to just do this it's more accurate to the ultimate effects and that uh, are that 2k made back in 2019 so yeah that's the video guys um i'm gonna repost this carmelo card i hope you guys enjoyed uh make sure to check out the playlist uh the first two episodes if you have not already this is the third episode i will be deleting the other ultimate fx tutorial probably um but yeah that's it for this video uh goodbye guys